Hey guys, welcome to the Review Show. My name is Awesome One Life Stars Anthony Hopkins. London broker Nicholas Witten helps rescues hundreds of Jewish children in a race against time before the Nazi occupation closes the borders. Fifty years later, he's still haunted by the fate of those he wasn't able to bring to safety. I've been seeing a lot of films like this lately. Um, I, is it is it just because of it's election year? So that's when a lot of political things start getting dropped. It's kind of funny as well. And this has nothing to do with the movie, but we have a movie called Civil War coming out this year. That looks very interesting. It looks very good. It's like a modern day Civil War outbreak. And and this is probably like one of the most darkest times um, right now that's going on in our own um, government. One Life is a very hopeful film. Um, here you have Anthony Mackie who plays Nicholas a uh, but also goes by a nickname called Nikki, who is dealing with trauma of when he uh, was sort of like part of a this rescue operation, and um, and he tries to like save a bunch of Jewish children before like the before this outbreak war, aka World War II, happens, and um, it 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 follows this story with him going back and forth between. You know the present day of I believe I'm um, assuming 1990s, early 1990s when this takes place with um, Anthony Mackie's, and we jump um, before the war um, with John uh, Johnny Flynn, as that's if that's how you say his name, who plays a younger version of Nikki, and it's a very they do per, uh, a really well good job playing one another. Um, like you definitely can see. Um, Johnny play a very young version of Anthony Hopkins. I think he does a perfect job. And he looks like Anthony Hopkins, but also looking like the real person who this is based off on. Um, so they do they did a good job casting these two people. You really do feel for this uh, for uh, this character. You really do feel the weight of like, well, we could do a lot more. Like how like like why are we not doing more? And you know, people are like not really having that much hope. And next you have this guy who comes along and gives a lot of hope. Really, it's it's a really interesting story, a really dark um, point in time of history, and like you know, people being separated from their families. It's it's very um, pr it's pretty like s sad, and it's I wish that we kind of saw that more point of view because like it's more it's from his point of view. It's from it's telling his side of the story, and you really see only this one. Like this one, like uh, base camp that you, I guess you can call it, where you have these a bunch of these fam uh, Jewish families and children um, that are basically homeless, and um, you you see it from his point of view, like, oh wow, this is pretty messed up. Like, is there anything that we can really do? I wish we, that we could see it on a greater scale. Um, I mean, like, just from that one image, you should really like, okay, wow, this is pretty fucked up. We we got to do something. But it would have been cool to see, like, how much a bigger impact that this really has on the whole entire world and what's really going on. And it's like, and they dive into um, how, uh, like, some countries are not believing these people or like, oh, you're just crazy. And they're kind of, like, ignoring them. It's like, it dives into a lot of, like, that political sides and that stuff that doesn't really get brought up. It's, so they do a really good job telling the telling the story and that one man can really make a difference like one, just one person can make a difference and when you see the results of the film when you see the outcomes of things that happen it's like it's it gets a little chilling towards the end and kind of gets a little emotional uh you like it's like you have this guy who is just dealing with this trauma it's like he wants to save everyone but he but he knows that he c can't and so he's like the, he's thinking more of the, about the people that he didn't save over the ones that he did save um, but you know it's like he's also kind of wondering about like where what happened to those people what happened to those children like did they ever get to see their families ever again it's like and you kind of get this somewhat of a closure with this um, with this guy and like the way that they resolve the film is like like I wasn't really kind of I wasn't really expecting that tie kind of like turn towards the end. The only like, big complaint that I really have with the film is that it can have some pacing issues because the movie does 
start out pretty quick. It's like, okay, we got, well, we got to get to the saving the children kind of part. So we're going to, you know, we're introducing you, um, Anthony Mackie's character. And next, uh, we flash back. And next, we're like, okay, we flash, uh, next, we fast forward through his, like, you know, s s um, story setup. And um, now he's somewhat um, involved with this rescue group. And, uh, like, now he's getting really more involved. And next, the, so, like, the movie has, like, this somewhat fast pacing that's going on. And next, the movie kind of, like, comes to this halt. And like you know, like um, and it's sort of what kind of somewhat drags out a tiny bit, and you're like kind of like, can we get, can we move along a little bit faster? So the movie kind of has its pacing a little bit issues. Um, sometimes the flat, you know, it cuts back to Anthony Mackie. It's like I don't really need cutting back to him this many times. Like we see him like trying to go to this news outlet, I guess, um, trying to talk about this story in some form. And some of that we, I, you could have done without. Like the ending, I really like, and I think you could have done. I think the ending, you, you keep that. But the middle stuff with Anthony, Anthony Man, did I say Anthony Mackie? Anthony Hopkins, a Anthony Hopkins. I don't know why I'm calling him. An I, that's yeah. there's some scenes with Anthony Hopkins that they could have really took out, and it just stayed in the past instead of every once in a while cutting back to Anthony Hopkins. It's like, well, Anthony Hopkins is really expensive, so we're going to have him in this film as much as we can. Um, that's what it kind of feels like. But overall, I really enjoy the film. It comes out uh, March uh, 15th, so uh, I did get a chance to see this a little bit early. I'm going to give One Life a B+. I really did enjoy this film. It's very an emotional film. Um, very slow. does have its pacing issues, but by the end, I think you're going to be moved and in a lot of different ways. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.